Hello, this is Mike Kowalski. This is a brief, about 15-minute family history of the Kowalski family as we lived in Erie, Pennsylvania in the 40s and 50s and on into the 60s and 70s. Edward John Kowalski was born in 1917 near Pittsburgh and was always a pirate fan. He moved to Erie as a young man and his parents died during the depression. Dad dropped out of school and started working in the factories. Uh, in fact, he would meet Virginia Rose Lee uh, in 1943 and get married. Uh, they met at the uh, Continental Rubber Works. Mom, Virginia Rose Lee, uh, was born in Erie. Uh, her grandmother, Augusta Lee, uh, who would later go on to marry Joe May, who we knew as our grandpa. Uh, she was an only child, and so uh, she grew up in Erie, went to St. Vincent's, Strong Vincent High School, uh, lived uh, with friends down uh, near 3rd and 4th Street, uh, near the Bayfront, where we grew up. Ed and Virginia married in 1943. Uh, they would go on to have five children, Ron in 1944, Jerry in 1945, Mike, that's me, in 1948, Ed in 1952, and Joanne in 1954. Um, now those children would go on to marry themselves, uh, Ron, went to uh, University of Rochester and then went to graduate school at Ohio University in history. And there he met Cindy Montgomery. They would marry and Ron and Cindy would move back to the Syracuse area. Ron finished his PhD at Syracuse University in intellectual history and would go on to teach in the community college uh, in the Syracuse area for the rest of his life, where he still teaches now. Uh, they had five children, Anton, Stefan, Tad, Jan, and Sonia. Uh, Jerry uh, went to the University of Rochester, but uh, studied math and science and computer science, uh, went to uh, Marshall University in West Virginia, uh, would end up with a PhD in computer science and then go on, join the Air Force, and then later work for the CIA in uh, Washington, D.C. area. Uh, while in the Air Force, Jer Jerry was stationed in Arkansas and he met Kay Conway. They would marry and have two children, uh, Kara and Kristen. Me, Mike Kowalski. Uh, I went to Slippery Rock State and uh, then to Temple University in English and then moved to uh, the, the Bay Area. I uh, went to UC Berkeley with a PhD in English. There I met my wife, Karen, who was teaching in the Oakland Public Schools. And uh, we would get married and move back to Utah. We lived for 30 years in central Utah and an 11 acre ranch and I taught in a community college there, Snow College. Uh, we had one son, Nicholas Tyler Kowalski. Uh, Nick would grow up and then go to USD, University of San Diego, where we are now located in San Diego. Uh, Nick would die in a car accident in 2013, the same year Joanne uh, would die in a bicycle accident. Uh, Joanne, who said, never married, but she had a long-term uh, relationship with Joe Walchick, where they lived in Erie. Joanne taught uh, speech and worked in the school systems, uh, public and, and, and the Catholic schools. Uh, and, and Joe was a uh, worker in the city uh, sewer and water system. Said so we grew up on 514 West 3rd Street. Dad worked at Erie Printing and Litho, which was on State Street. It was about a mile walk, which he walked every day, summer and winter. Uh, he didn't drive till he was probably 50, 
uh, although Grandpa who lived with us and did have a car, and you see a few in the background. Uh, this is probably about 1950. I said I'm two years old here, uh, so that would be 1950 with uh, Ron and Jerry in, on the sidewalk in the uh, summertime in their shorts, you know, or maybe early fall. I'm not sure. Uh, here are the four of us. So Ed, we said, was born in 1952. Uh, he was probably one or so. So we were still on, on 514 West 3rd Street. Uh, and this would be a, a Christmas picture. Uh, and one more uh, of the four boys before Joanne came along. Uh, we moved from... 3rd Street up to around 27th Street, that is where 248 Scott Street is. Uh, in 1955, we would go to Glenwood Elementary School and then on to Memorial Junior High and on to high school where we all uh, played sports as well as did different academic uh, things. Uh, a lot of us played football or swam. Uh, Joanne was a cheerleader. And this is one more. Once Joanne was born, they said that was be 1954, so she's probably 1955, about the time we're moving up to Scott Street. Uh, the house on Scott Street is uh, the one that has, uh, well, a pool table in the attic. Dad was a great lover of pool, uh, shooting pool, great shot, and loved the horseshoes. We had a horseshoe pit, uh, played cards a lot, a lot of pinochle playing. A lot of bowling. Mom and dad would go out dancing and, and to the clubs and uh, had a good time. We would then uh, from we went from St. Patrick's Church down on Third Street to St. Joseph's Church there uh, in the neighborhood. And here we are again with the uh, the five of us. Some of, some of us you can actually recognize. We still have some of the same facial features, although the hair is a lot grayer now. They said mom was an only child, but this is, uh, her, her stepdad, Joe May. We would often sit on the front porch. Joe loved his rocker. He was a great woodworker and uh, worked uh, mechanically uh, before he retired. And uh, on the hot summer nights, we would have a glider on the front porch where we could sleep, uh, sometimes sleep out if it got too hot in, in the house. We never had air conditioning though. Joe always had a pipe, a uh, great, great pipe smoker, uh, another very good card player too. Uh, dad has a few siblings. Mom was an only child, but dad had one younger brother, Uncle Ray. Uh, Ray left town when he was a young man, moved to Chicago, uh, where he partnered with a fellow named Frank, and then they moved out to Hollywood. He worked for Mary Pickford. Uh, he was a kind of a house and, and estate maintenance person. Uh, he would come back later in his life, uh, just before he, he died. Yeah, he was my godfather, so this is probably 1948. Uh, we all had, as Catholics, we all had godparents, and that's probably me. So this is a good picture of Grandpa May in the middle, uh, Joe May, Grandma, uh, Gussie. I'm not sure who the other people are in this. Uh, this is a, one of the early shots probably on Third Street. Uh, Grandma did have a sister, Mary. Uh, we called her Boo Boo and he, she married a fellow that we called Baldy. They lived in the, like, in the Fourth Street area or in the same neighborhood. They would babysit us. We would go over and, and visit uh, quite frequently. Baldy was a fisherman, uh, caught perch in Lake Erie when there was still commercial fishing in the lake. Yeah. It's a good picture of mom and dad when we moved to uh, Scott Street. You just notice all the wallpaper. We did a lot of wallpapering and painting and fixed up the old house. Uh, and uh, mom would love to read. Uh, she, of course, worked uh, in the house all the time and then later she went to work uh, as, uh, in the food services in the local hospitals, uh, St. Vincent's Hospital there. Uh, 
Um, and Dad would still walk to work, even though it was about a mile and a half down uh, down from Scott Street down to, to the printing factory. Uh, said, yeah, here's a, a few of our, well, it's our aunt, uh, um, Aunt Dorothy. Well, I said, Dad had two sisters, Dorothy and uh, uh, Julie, and, uh, and one brother, Uncle Ray. Uh, Aunt Dorothy had two children, uh, Edie and, and Joyce. Uh, Uncle uh, Aunt Dorothy married uh, Joe Zaffron, and uh, Aunt Julie married uh, Joe Redker, and they had one daughter, Janice Redker. She's there with uh, with her first child. She has ceased, she has since uh, passed away. But uh, this is obviously Ed and Jerry in the, in the background uh, when in the house on, on uh, Scott Street. Here's a picture once uh, Aunt Dorothy and uh, Uncle uh, Eddie moved. Uh, they would spend uh, these winters in Florida. And Dad and Mom probably took the train since Dad wasn't driving much uh, down to visit them one time. This is a Florida picture. Here we got a picture of uh, our other cousin, uh, uh, Julie, uh, and Uncle Joe. Uh, Uncle Joe Retker. Joe was a uh, worked on the in the trains. He worked on the on the railroad uh, as a engineer, uh, and that's Dad uh, in the background. And you see a little bit of uh, Joanne's face in the side of this picture. Uh, it looks like it's 1976. Uh, here we have a picture of Ed and his first boy, Tate, uh, and Jerry. And on the right side, you see Nick Pilato. Nick was the kind of the sixth child. He was a very good friend of Ron's. He went to high school with Ron, um, played sports, and Nick uh, went into education in the public schools and then moved back to Erie when he retired. And uh, when mom moved off of Scott Street, he, she moved up uh, right across the street from Nick and they were very close. Nick would often come over to help her with the yard after, after dad died. And he's always been a very, very good friend of the families. Uh, and a good pool player too. <laughs> uh, here's a picture of Joe, uh, Joanne's companion, Joe Baltic uh, and uh, dad uh, in one of their summer poses. Both big, great baseball fans. Joe loved uh, the Cubs, and Dad still liked uh, the Pirates. Here's a Christmas picture you know, with Ed and Crystal, and probably Tate uh, one, uh, one Christmas. And uh, here's our cousin Joyce. Uh, uh, so Edie left town. We didn't see much of her after she, she grew up, but Joyce stayed in Erie and was always close with mom and dad. Uh, and uh, we would always get together on try the Easter and Christmas uh, holidays. We would be part of the family. Uh, here I am at the kitchen table on Scott Street with Karen uh, on the side. I think Nick was upstairs probably playing pool as a two-year-old. Uh, And the last picture, we have a picture, a good picture of Joanne and Ed in the front and uh, Karen and me in the back. And here we get a picture of Cindy and Ron, a little bit of Ron's head and probably Anton as a, as a baby. Uh, so that concludes this very brief slideshow. I hope you enjoyed it.